cyber threats you know, has been posing a lot of significant risk to different organizations and individuals. Um, if we look at phishing, I believe an average person in this era will receive one or two phishing emails every day. Uh, this is a situation denial attack where an attacker impersonates uh, a trusted or a trusted entity to trick the victim to reveal sensitive information like password, credentials, uh, uh, any personal information uh, treating that particular individual, they can be delivered through email, SMS, or through a fake website. These are techniques threat actor use in phishing. Um, prevention requires user awareness training and you know, kind of a robust email filtering system whereby if any kind of, or if all these phishing emails are coming, there should be like a protective mechanism that can, you know, uh, that won't allow this email to come in. But most of the time, if you look at your spam email, you see a lot of uh, emails there, which uh, we can categorize sometimes as a malicious email. Uh, malware or what called um, uh, software, uh, malicious software, uh, these are designed to kind of destroy damage and damage and used to gain authorized access to system. This can be include different like viruses, Trojan, spyware, uh, worms. And, these are this can be very critical if you know if an attacker use this against a particular system or to trick someone to download a malicious software. So in, in terms of the mitigation, we have to try to implement the use of antivirus software. This will help to detect any kind of um, malicious software in our system. Regular update is very, very important. A lot of people will know this uh, whenever you even your mobile device, you you see there, there might be a, like a prompt message that will tell you to update your operating system. Uh, this is very, very important so that if all those updates include security patches uh, that can help you or uh, that can prevent any kind of um, uh, threats coming in or any kind of malicious application you might encounter uh, while using that device. And also the, another way to you know, still give like, to to stay active and uh, is to avoid any download of suspicious um, applications. A lot of people just like to download different things, different applications, uh, even though they might not need them. And also where you're downloading this application is very, very important. Is it a trusted website? Uh, it's very, very important to download any application uh, from a trusted uh, website rather than just using any kind of uh, uh, platform that you are not sure of.